Hey everybody, um, first of all, my apologies for my second video because I was describing some detail stuff that I wasn't even in focus on, um, I've got to invest in a tripod obviously, but um, so last video I was describing, let's see if we can do this without breaking anything, I was describing this uh, beacon rotator beacon so that's the amt lens and that is the uh the base which is a like a nightgown snap and then the scratch built post and a little bit of rust because that would be steel um and the wire would run up the center down into the cab okay and then also that's the tarp we were talking about before, last video. Some brass eye rings right there into the wood plank. And then that is the uh, the old poop bag there for the doggies. Rolled up with the lead bungee cord straps. And I still have to weather that down a bit and paint the straps accordingly and another thing I've been working on is the excuse the shaky cam here is the tarp bar for this dump trailer so we're gonna put that about midpoint right with the uh, right with a bracket or brace for the the, the two sideboards come together. That's about the center point. Um, so the bar. I don't know if you can see it there. Okay. So I got two ninety degrees bent. Let me see. Let me get it focused up a little better. So a couple nineties right there. Okay. You're making just basically a hoop. All right. And then if you lay it flat, you can see the slight, slight angles. Because when the thing lays down towards the front of the tub, um, put a little really gradual bend in there. So the tarp lays in a little flatter and the leading edge of the tarp bar. Right there, you can probably see it up against the fuel tank. Minor, minor angle, shallow angle. And then when that thing flips towards the back of the dump trailer, it seals up the ass end of the, the ass end of the load better. All right. You don't have to do it. It just gives it a little bit more character and design. Now what you're looking at is I've taken the, all the little yellow rings, they're going to go at every 90, okay? So at that 90, and at that 90, let me see if I can get that camera to focus. I'm going to put two of those at each 90 to make it look like uh, elbows for black uh, gas line, gas pipe. Back in the old days before Arrow and Cromero and all these badass tarp companies, when everything was custom, guys in the 70s would make their auto roll tarps out of gas line or steel pipe. And what I'm using to duplicate or replicate that is your uh, your K and S music wire, number 503, 55 thousandths. It's a little tricky to bend and a little bit of a bitch to cut. Get some of these bad boys. <laughs> You're going to have to honk on it to get that shit cut. But it holds the shape nicely, you know. And um, scale-wise, it looks pretty. It's not too fat looking, you know. So for the rings, for the angles, you know, try to demonstrate it without wrecking everything here. So that's going to be like a rubber bumper. So you leave that up there to kind of contain the edge of your tarp. And then these two, say if you have a 
Let me zoom in. Excuse the bench. It's a disaster area. I'm trying to get this thing done. So do this. Get rid of this one. Need freaking ten hands here. So you just split those up like that right there. Okay. Let me get this thing. All right, now we're cooking. Now these rings are your cotton bud tubing. See what I'm talking about? Now you glue that and you paint it. It's going to look like a gas pipe, 90 degree elbow. And then your straight gas line would be here for you roll your tarp around it and your arms would be long lengths of gas line. Now you can put some more of these rings on for four foot lengths, six foot lengths, eight foot lengths, whatever you want to do. But that will make it look like an elbow or old school tarp bar right there. There we go. Something like that. And you paint it all up black and you can't tell that it's not a piece of gas pipe. All right. So hopefully that's useful to someone. K&S Music Wire 55,000 works pretty good. You can go skinnier if you want, but I mean on a dump trailer. You're probably going to need something a little sturdy. And let me get you a shot of it, like quickly mounted. All right, so it's going to be mounted in uh, the center vertical post right here. This is just for demonstration purposes. So we go forward. There's your minor bend. There's your cotton bud rings and you can also use as as rings to feed on to the tarp bar to hold your tarp on there as well there's kind of the gas line elbow that i'm talking about right there get that focus yeah so you paint that up black and it's going to look like a piece of gas pipe all right but that's how your your tarp bar will sit on there and that stuff works pretty good. So, yeah. Try it out. KS Music Wire. It's tough stuff. Hopefully, you can see that right there. The light in here sucks. But, yeah. And I'll post up some pics once I get the tarp mounted. And I'm going to make a little uh, platform here. For your other center bar, the tarp wraps ac wraps around actually, because this flips towards the back, and just the tarp kind of hangs on that with your rings. Or sometimes there's a hem, and you feed your tarp onto that. But I'll do another quick quick video when I'm all done with that little platform. And I think I'm gonna go hand crank on this, not the not the powered one, because old school they would have had a little chain thing you're running down here and a sprocket set up. And the guy's got to get out and crank the tarp himself with some springs. So this thing's like in the 70s. Just keep that in mind. And a lot of people have been asking about the floor. I'll do a tutorial of that uh, in the future. i got a lot of things on my mind to give some tips on. But my studio kind of sucks right now. I'm not really set up. I'm kind of getting used to this YouTube stuff, so. Bear with me, but I appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully somebody can use some of these tips if we're not already doing them. All right. Be safe, everybody. Thanks for watching. Later.